Hi guys and ladies, last week I made a low carb fried fish recipe with low carb breadcrumbs. It was yummy. Today I saw a recipe for yellow perch. Around here we call them Lake Erie perch. But that recipe uses flour and I think I could make it with a flour substitute and also a perch substitute. Let's see if we could make a great fried bass dinner. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Our lake only has a few perch, but the biologists who surveyed it told me it has too many small bass and they should be removed. So I'm going to try to catch some with this plastic worm. I rigged it Texas style. Look in the description box below for all the details on the equipment I'm using. Right now, let's get out there. here a long time and I need food. He's a half inch over the limit, but I don't care. I'm going to fillet him. I'll put him in the basket. I got one. I got one. I got one. <laughs> yes. Oh, the line broke. Oh. Oh, cheap line. Don't buy cheap line. Let that be a lesson. Oh. Oh. I've got to eat them. I've been out here for hours. Another 12 and a half. But, come on in. Come on in, honey. <laughs> Whoa. Don't fall. All right, now there's an eater, perfect eater. I got three nice, um, <laughs> three nice fish now, just shy of 12 inches. I'm gonna fillet this guy. I put on a beetle spin. L let me make a cast or two with this. It's just a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Little, little fish. You little guy. Oh. <laughs> Another hors d'oeuvre. So embarrassing. Let's get back in the house and fillet the fish, and we've got a good dinner on tap for tomorrow. Here it is the next day, and despite bright, gusty, sunny conditions, we managed to bag almost a pound and a half of fish fillets, more than enough for a dinner for two. But what about a side dish? <laughs> I found what looks like a cheesy, creamy, low-carb delight. Let's get on that first. Here, I took a head of cauliflower, and I just broke it down into florets. Now I'm going to put it in the microwave for, oh, I don't know, 15 minutes or so until it's real tender. Let's preheat the oven to 350. Okay, I'm going to Take about six ounces of this Monterey Jack cheese, put it in this bowl, save a little. That's eight ounces total. Here's six more ounces of really sharp cheddar cheese. Save the rest. Here I'm putting in a whole brick of softened cream cheese. Now remember the onions? Ooh, look at all those onions. 
Here we go, eight slices of bacon or so. Oh, that looks good. Here's like a half teaspoon of garlic. Oh my goodness. It's a little too chunky still. This is a quarter cup of heavy cream. That'll help it. It's really coming together now. Look at this. Uh, let's start with your biggest bowl. Make sure you start with it. I keep transferring to new bowls. And now the star of our show, cauliflower. Wow, look at the size of this bowl. Look, it's really come together nicely. Now I'm kind of mashing it just a little bit, the bigger pieces. Here, I'm going to add about three quarters teaspoon of salt. Let's do this pepper thing too. Here I've got a three quart casserole dish. You have to have a lot of dishes and stuff to do this. Now here, I'm going to put on ooh, the remaining cheese. Remember? Eight ounces, and we saved two. Remember the Monterey Jack? All right, I just, I just can't help myself. Call me crazy, but I have to put on even more cheese. A couple more ounces of this sharp cheddar should do. Uh, all I'm going to do now is cover our cheesy casserole with this foil and put it in the oven for 25 minutes. It's been 25 minutes, let's get this out. <laughs> There's still one more step. I'm going to brown it without the foil now for like five minutes. Oh, wow, this looks good. It's been about 10 minutes. Brown or not, I'm through with this recipe. Let's get on with the fish. Oh yeah. Woo hoo hoo, it's perfect. It's bubbly perfect. I have one and a half cups or more of flour. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Look, this is low carb flour. It's only like one twelfth the carbs of regular flour. Here go two tablespoons of paprika, about. Eh, put a lot in. It's not paprika, it's paprika. I never said it right either. In goes a half teaspoon of salt. I'm mixing this up and I'm going to set it aside. One extra large egg. Here goes one cup. One cup of heavy cream. Heavy cream is much lower in carbs than milk. I'm cutting our big fish fillets into halves. Now I'm going to put our fish fillets in this big plastic bowl. And then, if I'm successful, soak them in this egg and cream mixture. I've only used about 27 bowls today. I'll just put the fillets aside. Let's put this flour into a plastic bag. This is the way I know best. Here I go with my shtick again. Shtick of butter. <laughs> okay, one whole shtick of butter. And then I'm just going to cover the bottom of this skillet with uh, peanut oil. You don't need that much. I'm going to heat it to 360. So I thinned out our cream uh, egg mixture a little bit with water. And then I'm going to drain the fillets with a colander. Now the fillets go in the bag of flour. Then we zip it up. Make sure there's some air in this bag. Now I'm just going to coat these with this flour. This is the fastest way. You don't need to dredge. Shake off the excess. Put it in a plate. It's looking good already. Our temperature is good, 360. Let's start with the biggest pieces. The thickest, put them near the hottest part of the pan. Now we're going to do this about two minutes on each side. This is the no dredge zone. See, no dredging needed. It's been two minutes. <laughs> wow. Oh. I take the little guys out first. They cook faster. While our food is keeping warm in the oven, I might as well let you all know that the world famous restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks is on her way over here for dinner tonight. I may have mentioned to you that, well, it's been over 50 years that we've been seeing each other, yet she, she never suggests marriage to me. You would think she, I don't know, want to share her interests, her passions, her mind, her soul with me. I don't know. 
here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic miss lulu cheeks herself uh thank you so much for joining me at uh, my abysmal abode uh, here and um you had a chance to dine on my uh, fried perch recipe made with bass of course and fake flour and um uh what did you think of it, it was very good very tasty really yes Mm. And well, and it was a little bit crispy on the edges. Oh yeah, lovely, delicious. Yeah, it did come out a bit yes. crispy and yeah. very tasty. I, I, I like that recipe. And um, you also had a side of rich cheesy cauliflower loaded with all kinds oh, of things. Oh yes. Did you like that? Tons of my favorite food, which is cheese. Yeah, yeah. it had a little bacon in there oh, too. Oh yes. Yeah. It was very good. Yeah, you know, Miss Cheeks. Uh, I think that uh, marriage is a union, you know, a, a union of heart, a union of soul, a union of minds, don't you think? Mm, yeah, but wait till you have to pay those union dues. Hmm. Can I have a hug? Sure.